take full responsibility for what happens to you. It's one of the highest forms of human maturity, accepting full responsibility. It's the day you know you've passed from childhood to adulthood, the day you accept full responsibility. I used to have that long list of reasons why I wasn't doing well. To explain, you got to explain, right? Otherwise you're going to look bad. I used to have this funny list called reasons for not looking good. I used to blame the government. <laughs> I mean, you can believe that or not. It was at the top of my list. I had a lecture second to none. The government, that was on my list. I used to blame taxes. Look what you got left after they take everything. And they expect you to do well. That was on my list there. Prices, that one's easy, right? You walk into the supermarket with $20, come out with a little half bag. So I had that on my list. I used to blame the weather. I blamed the traffic. I used to blame my car. I blamed the manufacturers. I used to blame the company. I blamed company policy. I used to blame the training program. I blame my negative relatives. They were always putting me down. I blame my cynical neighbors. They're just selfish, looking out for themselves. Won't loan you money? They were on my list. I used to blame the economy. I blame the community. That's a pretty good list for not doing well, isn't it? I thought it was good. I'll never forget one day. Mr. Schof is very kind, but he was also very blunt. And this was no exception. And I'm glad he was blunt. There's a lot of things I'd have missed if he hadn't have been blunt. One day with sort of a curious look on his face, he said, Jim, just out of curiosity, tell me, how come you haven't done well up until now? Excellent question. <laughs> I thought, well, so I won't look too bad. I'll go through my list. <laughs> and this list I just gave you, I put that on him. And he was very patient. He let me go through the whole thing, the government, the weather. I went through this whole thing. When I finished, he looked my list over very carefully. He said, Mr. Rohn, big problem with your list. You ain't on it. When I went to work for him a few months later, I learned very quickly to tear up my list, reasons for not doing well, and I threw it away. And I got me a fresh piece of paper. And I put one word on it. Me. There's a black heritage spiritual that says, it's not my mother, nor my father, nor my brother, nor my sister, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. See, I used to blame everything outside. And then let me give you a little philosophy that helped turn my life around. For your notes, here it is. It's not what happens. that determines the quality or the quantity of your life. It's not what happens. And the reason is because what happens happens to about everybody. No different. The sun went down on all of us last night. A common event, a happening. And I found out that the same things can happen to two different people. One gets rich and one stays poor. Why is that? It's because it's not what happens, but rather it's what you do that changes everything. So that's a key phrase. It's not what happens, it's what you do. What happens is about the same. You might put that in parentheses here. Same. What people do, that's what's different. Somebody says, yeah, but you don't understand the disappointments I've had. Come on. Everybody's had their share. Disappointments are not special gifts reserved for the poor. Everybody has them. The difference is what you do about them. It's not the weather. I used to blame the weather, and I discovered it rains on the rich. So see, that won't help. Two men wake up one morning, there's a rainstorm on. One of them looks out his window, sees the rainstorm, and he says, Wow, what a storm. With weather like this, they can't expect you to go out and make sales. He stays home. <laughs> same morning, the other guy looks out his window, sees the same storm, says, wow, what a storm. 
But he says, you know what, with weather like this, what a great day to go out and make sales. Most everybody will probably be home, especially the salesmen. See, that's the difference in how your life works out. It's not what happens, it's what you do. So here's one of the key questions of the evening. Starting tomorrow, what are you going to do that'll make a change in your life's direction? Good question. What are you going to do starting tomorrow that'll make a difference? Now see, if you don't do something starting tomorrow that'll make a difference, guess what? It's going to be the same. <laughs> And see, that way you can guess what the next five years are going to be like. Look at the last five. Because the next five are going to be like the last five, unless you, major key, tomorrow, change it all. Or change a little, or change something, or don't change. It's choice time. You can do whatever you want. But it's nice to know any day you wish you can change your whole life. What can you do starting tomorrow that'll make a difference? Good question. What can you do with economic chaos, massive disappointment? What can you do with a broken heart? What can you do when it won't work? Good question. So if I had a word with you tonight, one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me, I think my personal advice to you would be, this year, 1981, reach down inside of you and come up with some more of those remarkable human gifts. They're there, waiting to be utilized. And then change anything for you you want to change. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight, only by choice. Self-reliance is basically counting on yourself, taking responsibility for whatever happens to you, knowing that you have consciously made the decisions that are now affecting you, knowing that what is happening now, today, is the direct result of your activity, what you did yesterday. Now, being self-reliant doesn't mean you can't work with others or trust others. Self-reliance means counting on yourself, trusting yourself, being confident with yourself, being responsible to yourself, trusting your own instincts, trusting the conclusions that you have developed from your study of experiences and philosophies, taking the credit that is due you, learning from the mistakes that you have made, being self-reliant. Gestalt psychologists give an example of being self-reliant. They say that you're responsible for getting caught in the rain. They say that by deciding not to carry an umbrella every day, you have made the decision to endure an occasional drenching. Translation, by not being prepared, you make the choice of getting caught in some of life's unpleasant circumstances. Be they rain, failures, economic losses, relationship losses, professional losses, personal losses. By not being prepared, thinking ahead, it's your choice. Now here's the other side of it. By being prepared, you increase your chances of success. You increase the likelihood. By being prepared, you increase your chances of success, of seizing opportunities when they come your way of being ready within yourself to take advantage of once-in-a-lifetime situations. Some people tend to blame others for their mistakes, blame others for their failures. Somebody says, it's not my fault the report isn't done, so-and-so didn't do their part. Of course it's your fault. It's your report too. It's your responsibility to see that everyone you delegated work to does their part. Now, you can't control what others around you do, but it's in your own best self-interest that you stay on top of things, especially if it's going to affect your future. You think your boss cares that John didn't do his part? You think he sees John as the bad guy? Of course not. All he sees is that the report isn't done, bottom line. Be responsible for the things that affect you. 
You can make sure you're more responsible by checking in with those people who are working with you, the people who make up your team. You can be more responsible by saying, Hey, John, how are you doing with your part? Do you need some help? Can we put somebody else in here to help you finish? Now, if John consistently doesn't handle his part, you've got to replace John. If he isn't doing his share, you've got to find somebody that will. Or what? It will negatively affect you. You can't wake up in the morning that the project is due hoping and wishing that John has done his part. No, you've got to be responsible because it's going to affect your career too. Now, my approach to my better future very early on in my career was to just go through the day with my fingers crossed. And I used to say something like, I sure hope things will change for the better. Then here's what I found out. They're not going to change. Somebody says, well then, how will my life ever change? Answer, when you change. When you change, when you get better, it'll get better. If you change, it'll all change. Don't put it on someone else. Hope that someone else will change it for you. Take responsibility for yourself. Take personal responsibility. You can't change the circumstances or the seasons or the wind, but you can change your reading habits. You can change whether or not you go for the skills, burn the midnight oil, turn yourself around, multiply your value by two, three, five, ten. That you've got charge of. That you have control of. You don't have control of the constellations, but you've got control over whether or not you go to night school, take adult classes, learn some new skills. You have control over that. And if you don't, that's your fault. You've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to be self-reliant. Nobody else can change your life, alter your ambitions, pave a golden road for you. But you can. It's up to you. Be responsible for yourself. Learn to reap the harvest without complaint. This is a sign of growing maturity. And here's where it comes from. Taking full responsibility. Take full responsibility for everything you do. Be responsible to yourself. It's your crop. Whatever your paycheck is, take full responsibility. You say, well, it's my employer. No, it's not your employer. You can become twice as valuable, three times as valuable. Burn the midnight oil, learn some more skills, bring more value to the marketplace. I'm telling you, whatever your harvest is, take it without complaint.